Today, I'm gonna recap on how I stack gold. Stick around, it's gonna be fun. Andres Garcai, first, second, and I think third. Amazing, hit that like button, please, and thank you. Your likes grow the wealthy community. It's that simple. If you're new, these are not special notes. Just regular Jacksons and Franklins. These is special because they's my fractional gold though. Pardon me, I just felt like destroying the English language for a moment there. Yeah, so I save $120 a week. It used to be merely 100, but you know, Things just ain't buying what they used to. I'm actually thinking about upping it to 125. Cheers. <sighs> huh, that sounded funny. All right, so how is this cash my fractional gold? It's simple. Well, in theory, if you are like many other stackers, it's not easy to hold cash, okay? I get it. That can't be condensation. This is a thermal mug. I stack big gold centenarios. I buy one every six months. I save the cash each week to pay for them. Look, I got a whole Bitcoin here. Yeah, so what's missing from this equation? Oh, I know what it is. Fractional gold. There's none here. I used to have a lot of it. It's gone now. You see, I always wanted to be the disciplined gold stacker who could buy one ounce gold coins. But I can never quite hold significant amounts of cash. I did not have the willpower or the discipline. Do I now? Eh, I think I'm still developing it. But I do think I'm getting better at it. How about you? How long can you hold on to cash? And how do you do it? Comment below. So anyhow, I buy these centenarios now. And they contain 1.2 troy ounces of gold each. So not only do I have the discipline to stack one ounce gold coins now, but one could argue that I have 20% more discipline than a person who does that. I know someone that saves cash until they have enough for a 100 gram gold bar. How about that discipline? At the rate I save, that would be a 100 gram bar every year and a half. So why wait and buy these bigger gold pieces? It's simple, you get a lower cost average on gold. Can you still make out with the fractionals? Yeah, I did pretty well with them actually. But if I had cash discipline earlier and had bought larger pieces, I would have done better. Oh, I got a good quote. You should hear it. No man is free who cannot command himself. That's a quote from Pythagoras, an ancient Greek philosopher and mathematician. There's many quotes similar to this. But basically, if you can't learn to control yourself, you will never be free. Now, if you don't have any self-control and you're watching this, I don't want you to feel bad. Most people don't have control of themselves. But we don't want to be like most people, do we? I mean, you are here watching this. But when we hear things like discipline and self-control, it can be very off-putting. It doesn't sound exciting. I think I've simplified it and made it much easier and rewarding. It's always been rewarding, though. Yeah, I think I have like a cheat code. Sometimes we feel ready to make a big change in our life, and we're ready to take those steps. And we call this motivated. Now, I think we all know motivation is fleeting, but it is useful and it can be very powerful if we quickly use that energy of motivation and self-discipline to form a habit. And habits don't really take a lot of motivation or self-discipline. A habit's like autopilot. It takes a substantial amount of motivation and self-discipline to start a habit, but not really much to maintain it. So what habits do you want? I would start with the end goal and reverse engineer it. I made a goal to get a roll of these centenarios. That's 20 of them. I can fit 22 in there, so I might get 22. I told myself I'll buy two a year. So that's one every six months. Now I could do it faster, but I got other things I want to buy, other things I want to do. So I got four here. That means it's gonna take me eight years to get the rest. And you may be saying to yourself, eight years, that's a long time. But hey, time flies, you know, and in eight years, I'm going to have a roll of centenarios. So in eight years, you're going to say, that's a lot of gold. 24 ounces of gold, to be exact. At today's gold prices, that's about $60,000. Oh, by the way, one of my other habits is I buy some Bitcoin every week. I know you may not like that, but it's always been a profitable habit. If you average it out, I mean, you can say what you want about it, but it's been the best performing asset eight out of the past 11 years. It is what it is. The world's first rules-based global payment system. Rules-based, and in a world where no one trusts one another with the accounting, that's a nice thing to have. It's a lot easier to buy it these days. You can purchase it on most stocks accounts on your phone or you can sign up for coinbase whatever it's not financial advice i just think it would be a great disservice 
not to mention it. I owe much of my wealth to it, including much of my silver and gold stack. That's right, I've sold Bitcoin to buy gold and silver. And if you think buying Bitcoin and talking about it irritates gold and silver stackers, trust me, it's nothing compared to the ridicule you get from hodlers if you should tell them you sold your Bitcoin to buy gold. Although I will say it is socially acceptable to do it at the end of a bull market. To the traders, at least. But long term, people have been better off just hodling their Bitcoin. Who knows how the trend will continue. I find it prudent to at least roll over some of my earnings from assets that are up into assets that are down to well balance my portfolio. But that's me and that's how I do things. I try to trust the process more than the crystal ball. What say you? Comment below. Because that's it. That is it. Thousand Air Radio, wicked shout. Hey, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I will never have sponsors that will make me biased. Integrity is top priority here. There's not a lot of that going around. So you can at least be subscribed to one. But either way, wherever you go, when someone's giving you their not financial advice on financial assets, ask yourself, what's this person selling? Who is their sponsor? I just don't want you to get caught up in the bias, friend, though. There's a lot of channels out there treating their communities, people that trust them, like suckers. Not cool. Not cool. I hope it was worth all the filthy fiat they got. Because we're coming for their spotlight. Hit all the buttons for me if you would. And I'll see you in the comments below. And these aren't my maples.